Okay, so today we're going to look at um, setting up Tag Manager and installing it onto our WordPress website. So the first thing we need to do is go to tagmanager.google.com uh, and if you're already logged into a Google account, you should hit this screen. It's already going to have your kind of Google account ready to go um, and that is fine. I tend to just use one Google account for all my Google products and that's just my normal Google account. So first things that I'm going to want to do is just set up my account. Um, I'm just going to call it Roan site because why not? Um, you can share data anonymously with Google um, or not. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to bother. Um, so I'm just going to press continue. Then it's asking us to use a, a container name. So I'm going to call that the actual uh, name of my website. And it then gives us four options of things to use. Um, a web container, which is what we're going to use. Uh, then you've got iOS and Android, those for apps, and AMP is an accelerated mobile page. So we don't need to use these guys, we just can use the website container. We click create, um, it's going to give us a bunch of stuff which we should read uh, and then agree to it. So once we've done that, um, it's going to straight away take us and it's saying to install Tag Manager, we need to paste these bits of code into every page of our website. So that kind of sounds super complicated, but in fact, it's very easy because the way WordPress is structured, um, we have a thing called a head and a body tag, and they're on every page. So um, the theme of our WordPress website um, has these bits. They're on every page, so we actually only need to edit the theme once, and it will appear on every page because that's kind of how our website is built. So basically, we need to go to WordPress, and we need to put this little bit of code into the head. Um, it says to paste this code as high in the head as possible. Um, I'm actually going to do it just before the close of the head tag, which I'll show you in a second. So first things first, I'm going to use Control A to make sure I uh, select all of the code and Control C or Command C um, to copy it. Then I'm going to go to my WordPress site. So to edit the, uh, the theme of the website, that's actually the appearance. So we go to the appearance tab and we click into editor. And once we're in the editor, um, it's saying we're editing the theme, so that's what we want to do. Um, and what we need to look for is a part of the theme that is called um, theme header. So you can see we've got lots of templates on the right hand side. Um, and the easiest way I find to find it is just use Control F, uh, which is like finding something. And I want to select header. So you can see I've got this content meta header.php. I don't want to use that because I'm looking for theme header specifically. But if I scroll down further, you can see it's been highlighted in yellow, so that's pretty useful. And I can just click on that, and that's going to allow me to edit the header of my theme. So you can see straight away that we've got this uh, head tag, which is exactly what Tag Manager had asked us to look for. So as I said, uh, Tag Manager wants us to paste it as high as possible in the head. Uh, it's actually more important for us that the website loads as quickly as possible. So um, what I'm going to do is put it before the end of the tag. So this slash head bit, that means that that's the, the close of the head tag. So I'm just going to, I've made a bit of space. Um, it doesn't really matter if you have spaces in HTML. So um, I've just got a bit of space there so that it's kind of clear to me that that's where I'm putting my uh, tag manager tag. And now I can see that that tag is just before the close of the head. So I'm happy with that bit. Uh, the next bit is asking me to paste this bit of code immediately after the opening body tag. So again, I'm going to use Command A to select it all and Command C to copy it. Um, and I'm going to go back to my theme. And you'll notice that on my theme, uh, the opening body tag, it's got this kind of angular bracket with body and then it's got this other stuff. Um, yours may not look like that, but basically the body should come straight after the close of the head. Um, and what Tag Manager is asking us to do is paste a bit of Tag Manager code straight after the opening body. So again, I've made a bit of space here. I'm just going to use Command V to paste it. And that's pretty much all we need to do in terms of applying the Tag Manager code to our WordPress site. Um, what we do need to be really careful of is we need to make sure that we save that. Um, so if we don't save it, um, nothing will actually change and we haven't achieved anything. So. We just click this update file button at the bottom 
and then we should get a message saying that the file edit has been successful. So that's awesome. Uh, no, that's on my website. Um, I just need to check that um, that everything is kind of working as I expect it to. So if we go back to Tag Manager, um, I can kind of exit out of that bit now. And this is the main kind of homepage of Tag Manager. Uh, I wouldn't worry about this too much for now. But what we do want to do is we want to preview Tag Manager. And that means that we are, by using the preview section just here, uh, that means we're able to see which tags are firing on our website in real time. And that's one of the best things about Tag Manager is being able to see which tags are firing at all times. So um, now that I am previewing the workspace, when I go to my website, I should see um, a kind of tab at the bottom that is my Tag Manager um, kind of tag. So I'm just gonna go to my website here, uh, load her up, and ah, lo and behold, I've got this Tag Manager bit that's popped up. Um, it says there's no tags in the container. That's totally fine because I haven't put any tags in Tag Manager yet. Um, all I really want to do is I just want to make sure that this Tag Manager bit is actually there because that means that Tag Manager has been installed on my website successfully. Um, so that's pretty much all we need to do. Um, if you want to get rid of this uh, kind of Tag Manager tab again, uh, just go back to Tag Manager and click Leave Preview Mode, press OK. And when you go back to your website and refresh, that should have disappeared. Okay, so that has all been successful. And that is the end of the lesson. So hopefully that has worked out for you as well. Um, and we can go through actually making some tags in the class. See ya.